Video can be a powerful tool in research, as it provides a level of detail that few other methods can match. But this quality also comes with a high price. The materials are incredibly time-consuming to process, and this often results in analysis focusing on short selected fragments. So how can such selections be made systematically? This study is situated in medicine and a form of quality assessment known as imaging optimization. Still, we believe that the ideas presented here have a much broader application. What we are outlining is a workflow that combines one stream of structured data with a second source of qualitative data in the form of audio and video recordings. Very briefly, our approach consists of three steps. The first step is the data collection, where in our case we have so-called structured data reports. These reports contain information about technical parameters and radiation levels during surgical interventions. The video streams include one overhead shot of the surgical suite and one feed of the most critical surgical monitor. We simply make sure that the separate streams get the correct timestamp at this stage, as this is something that we will use later. The second step is the first part of the analysis. Here we only look at the structured data. We examine the materials in search of potential insights, and for this we can use a wide range of methods. It is possible to work with everything from machine learning techniques and statistical methods, to mere visual inspections of different plots. The purpose should be to identify regions of interest and to search for anomalies or systematic differences. This kind of analysis may be sufficient in and of itself. However, suppose we rely solely on the structured data. In that case, we may be barred from conducting in-depth investigations of many issues that we identify. The structured quantitative data tend to provide evidence that something occurred, but not necessarily why it happened on a specific occasion. The purpose of our proposed workflow is to break this deadlock. Since we also have the video data and the two timelines aligned, we can now pursue things further. When we identify some occurrence in the structured dataset, the same event can be quickly located in the video materials and subjected to further scrutiny. This is the final step of the process. Here we make focused analysis of brief instances that lead up to the identified points of interest. So, we localize events with the help of the structured data, but we can then contextualize those episodes using the video. For instance, if we see a change in the setting that significantly impacts the radiation levels, we can undertake a close study of the reasoning and circumstances leading up to this change. In this way, our understanding of global trends in the structured data can be grounded in the situated use of the technology. We believe that this approach can significantly reduce the time spent on convoluted materials. It offers a way to work systematically and at large scale without succumbing to the context loss of statistical methods. The proposed workflow could enable a new level of insights to inform and guide the imaging optimization process. The general workflow, however, can be applied to many other settings and problems.